the chef de cuisine at Akabar. Yes. On Sunset. So, you tell me what Akabar stands for. Akabar stands for something complete, like a full circle. So you did complete a full circle between the decor of the restaurant, which is, it's an old restaurant. It's been there for 40, what, 40 years. 40, 40 years. 40 years. Yeah. It was, it was uh, there my grand before. Um, and the owner of Little Door took it over, hired you in the chef de cuisine, and they also have a uh, Sarah. Yeah. Sarah. So, what's the concept of the menu? Because it's very tricky with that decor. You yes. walked in that decor, it's like Moroccan decor, so you need to have some food that matches that decor. So, which, yes, you did close full circle on that, but you tell me in your words what's the food concept that you've developed for that restaurant. So, we're basing, Chef Octavio and I created the menu and um, we're based it off the French spice trail. So areas in the world that have French influence, for example, the Levant, Indochine, uh, Southeast Asia, Mediterranean. And uh, our, our dishes are items that we love to eat ourselves and they're bold, fun, but serious flavors. So as you just said, it's a mix. It's not, we can't come in here and say it's going to be uh, American food because of the decor, it's, or it's not going to be French food, it's a mix of all different stuff. You have different influences in the, in the kitchen, mm -hmm. you got chef from, you know, helping you from different nationality, and so you have some uh, Asian influences with those buns, those Vietnamese buns that are like out of this world, they're yeah. like, it's like, I'm stopping after that, but unfortunately I had more after that. Um, and you got some uh, Marguez meatballs, and you have the dim sum, and you have some, uh, uh, crispy shrimp that you dip into Lebanese yogurt, so it's a whole mix of stuff from all yes. over, and it's not all, not all over France and the Mediterranean basin, it's all over the world. Yes. So how do you keep it Wait. consistent? It's tough, huh? Well, we go off of what the, the land provides us, you know, we go to the farmer's market every uh, Wednesdays and Sundays, and uh, we talk with our fish purveyors and our meat purveyors, and we all try to keep it fresh and fun. Fresh and fun. That's yeah. yeah. It's and it's fresh fun, and then there's no word for good. With sorry, it was an F or it's fabulous or something like that. But it was. Uh, uh, it's just you know the only thing I want to do is find an excuse to come back. You did a good job. Thank you. Thank you, Chef. Now we're gonna watch what we had to do. Thank you so much. Thank you.